welcome back to my channel I am back with another pregnancy update so since the last time I since the last time we went to the doctor we've done some research um, and when we left that doctor's appointment we were under the impression that we were going to stay another year um, we were going to do that because the doctor said that it would be too risky to travel in the first trimester um we've done research and according and according to what we researched um you can't travel in your first trimester if you are high risk and that's determined by your blood pressure and things along those lines which uh i don't have technically i shouldn't have a reason not to travel because i'm fine um in addition to doing research um, online, we asked around and I had quite a few friends who traveled their first trimester as well. So I was a little confused on why the doctor would tell us not to travel in the first trimester. Though I do understand that um, the first three months is a very sensitive time um, because you can have a miscarriage during that time. And, as you progress during each trimester, then uh, the likelihood of you having a miscarriage, it decreases, um, which is why you typically don't tell people you're pregnant until after three months, right? So I get that. Um, so we decided that we're going to just go ahead and we're going to leave. Um, we're going to stick with our original plan and we're going to leave. But in thinking about why she was kind of so persistent on telling us like we couldn't travel the first trimester thinking back to korean culture um they have a very very low birth rate um and the population is declining really fast um so it makes sense then that they would be under the impression that if someone is pregnant that they would tell them not to do anything that first trimester because they don't want to increase the risk of them having a miscarriage and contributing to the, to, to the already declining birth rate and declining population here in Korea. So when I think about it from that perspective, it makes sense why she would give us that advice not to travel, right? Because she's thinking like, um, like you know, a Korean mindset, um, which I understand, but that isn't our issue. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna travel and we're just gonna hope for the best and you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and do it. What we did do though is um, we, so our trip home, we were supposed to make a few stops. We were supposed to go to China, see the Great Wall, because that's something that both of us have not done yet. We were going to make a stop in LA, um, go to San Diego, and then head to um, Ohio, and all of that should take should would have taken us about a week or two or something like that. But because of the coronavirus and everything that's been happening, we decided to cancel that whole thing. Um, and because of the virus, they gave us all of our money back, even though we booked a trip like months ago. So that was a positive. So now instead of stopping in China and in all these places, we're just going straight home. We do have a stop in Texas, but it's just a short layover. And then we'll be in Ohio. So as of right now, we are not staying in Korea. We're going to leave. Um, against the doctor's orders but with the understanding of the perspective that she's coming from in the advice that she gave us so thank you so much for watching and i will be sure to keep you updated on our journey and our last weeks here in south korea see you later